This is a follow-up to the uh, main religions and uh, white people of the earth. Uh, 850 AD, that era, the Habsburgs um, were uh, the royal family of all the nations. But because of the uh, infiltration of the enemy, Lucifer, the Jews, uh, the true king moved to England and uh, changed the name to Harrison, H-A-R-R-I-S-S-O-N, and that is my grandmother, family line. Now all religions, no matter where you are in the world, you're not getting into heaven. The point being is if you were to die right now, then the, the uh, way of into heaven is through Jesus only, and if you're not practicing the belief in Jesus and following what I'm telling you today, um, that doesn't matter what religion you think is going to get you into heaven. It ain't. It's not going to happen. Now, um, Malcolm III of Scotland married the Queen of England, but if you go into your uh, English history, you won't find her mentioned because it's been written out. And this is what they do. Um, she was Margaret, the Queen of England, and uh, the powers that be at the time forced her and the family out. And uh, when I say forced her out, she was, uh, her mother was pregnant and she was born in uh, Hungary. So the Slavic nations are starting to rise up. And this is why the spirit is there. It was a very sad thing in my history in the sense that uh, Margaret, uh, she had married when she matured Malcolm III of Scotland. So she got Queen of England and you got the Malcolm III King of Scotland. Uh, Malcolm uh, was in a battle and he and his son lost their lives and um, leaving a uh, very, very distraught uh, queen. And three days after the news uh, of the death of her husband and son, she died of heartbreak in Scotland. She had reduced the Benedictines um, from France. And this is where you get the coincidence of the Benedictines being the uh, monks that when their grandson, which was King William the Lion of Scotland, he inherited the silver mines and he had uh, enormous wealth. And with that, he built castles, etc. And he built Stirling Castle. That's where Stirling silver comes from. So um, she had introduced the Benedictines from France. And um, in honour of his mother, a uh, grandmother, um, King William built all these uh, monasteries. And uh, Arbroath is one, uh, which we visited uh, two years ago. So um, he is buried there. But he also built Stirling Castle, and that's where the name Stirling of Stirling Silver comes from. So um, you can see that history is starting to be revived and truth is coming out. And uh, now you're starting to wake up that there's only one alternative here, and that is to kick out all your politicians who aren't. But I do believe, I hear reports now, as of this morning, that um, the politicians are starting to say, hey, there's something wrong here. This is in Hungary, isn't it? The Slavic nations. The Slavic nations. So the Slavic nations, this is the one that's got the backbone. They get out and do it. So uh, they're saying that uh, the white race is what it's all about. It's not about oil and uh, Syria and all this kind of thing. What they're saying is the fight is over. It's got nothing to do with it. It's to kill off all you white people. Right? Descendants of Shem, of Noah. So uh, we want to make that very clear. So if you died right now and you've got me, the comforter, in your mind, you've got no problem. Heaven bound. And you will reincarnate because that's what it's all about. Your soul can't be destroyed. I can destroy it. But the, the, the devil cannot destroy it. So you will reincarnate and come back into a nearby family or a position of importance uh, possibly in another, another nation altogether. But that, those days are coming to an end. And um, if you read the scriptures, you'll find that uh, my reward for you is with me. And what is that? Well, I'll show you how to uh, put on the holy garment, um, which is the comfort it brings to you, and that is the garment of immortality. And you can read that in Isaiah 63, and that's interesting in my history because uh, on the island of Tahiti, there is a uh, pyramid that uh, Cook discovered when he was measuring uh, the islands, and uh, he had a Harrison clock with him. So there's the Harrison name. And it was uh, developed by John Harrison. It was confiscated by the Admiralty. It was a prize offered 
of uh, 20,000 pounds, a huge amount of money in those days, for someone who could work out longitude with an uh, instrument that was accurate. That way they could go and conquer the world and make uh, claims to certain and uh, all the islands and so forth. But on one of the islands, while he had a bit of time, he had arrived there 666 days after Captain Wallace. He was on the SS Dolphin and uh, Cook was on the Endeavour. Now the Endeavour had uh, previously been a coal ship and uh, it was uh, double hulled and heav sails and ropes were uh, put on it and it was commissioned on the 5th of April in uh, 1768 and handed over to the Admiralty, which was then given to Cook. It was owned by the Pembrokes, which is the Earl Marshalls. James Marshall is where it comes from, and if you follow that line up, it goes back to King William the Lion of Scotland, who was uh, a uh, father-in-law. So it's a very interesting story, but you won't get it because of the media is all controlled and the history is controlled by the victor, and that's all to do with the Jews. So they've stamped all this wonderful history out. But um, the reality is you can't stamp me out. I've tried that many times. So I'm demonstrating to you just by being here able to talk to you that I'm still alive and I'm saying the most dangerous things that the Jews would ever wish to hear and that is I'm going to kill them all. Fear him that can destroy both body and soul in hell. They have created hell. The devil is hell. John 8, 44. You are a part of the devil. So these are the people that are causing hell on the earth. So you have to really get into it, right? You want to go into paradise? Well, let's look at the Lord's Prayer. Thy will be done on earth as it was in heaven, because we're 2,000 years down the road. So heaven is where earth is. On the face of the earth, we are going to build heaven. And Hitler said that his spirit will rise again. Well, Merkel should be hung for what she's done to Germany. And the bullshit about the Holocaust and all that kind of thing is entirely fictitious. There are many Jews out there that lived right through the uh, war era and at the end of the war they were thin because all of Germany was starving and uh, I know uh, friends of mine that was personally in the, uh, the British troops that went into uh, these horror camps as they say, there was no gas chambers, there was no, in fact there were swimming pools, there was theatres, there's all sorts of wonderful things and sure a lot of people died but it was called some typhus. And that's what Zyklon B is all about. And it was Pope John Paul II who could have made this clear to you at any time because he was working for R.G. Farben, the company owned by Rockefeller, that had built the um, concentration camps in Poland. They weren't concentration camps, they were internment camps. Every country did that. When you've got a, uh, America, for example, they interned the Japanese and the Germans. Australia did the same, Canada did the same. So Germany did the same. They couldn't get rid of the Jews. They were thinking of Madagascar to send them to. He wasn't going to kill them. He just wanted to get the bastards out of his life. Right? Because they had taken over the banks. And demoralised. Demoralisation of the country. They introduced homosexuality into the uh, art and into uh, uh, stage plays, etc. And uh, the whole thing is to demoralise and get rid of the Christian spirit of which... Uh, Hitler and all the, the Germans were. I mentioned the other day that Dresden was bombed, was fire bombed, 135,000 people killed in uh, 20 minutes. And at that time it was the end of the war. It was in February in 1945. So they still wanted to kill off as many as possible. They also said Eisenhower, who was a Jew, uh, he rounded up two million soldiers, German soldiers, and let them die uh, of starvation and disease in the prison camp. You don't hear about that. Now that's the true Holocaust. You've got the 60 million Russians, Christians, that died under the, the uh, communism era, which was all to do with Judaism that invented it. So you've got the Jews become the Jesuits, they invent the rapture and they invent uh, communism. So that's what it's all about. So um, raise up, do the right things. Uh, if you don't look after your children, I'm going to get you. You've got a big problem if you don't raise up. There's no way that you will be able to remain on this earth with me in charge of it. That's why I rule with a rod of iron. Read Genesis 49.10. I said the other day that, uh, and I'll say it now, at 49.10, the scepter shall depart, will not depart from Judah until Shiloh come. Well, Judah is a tribe of Essenes. I was an Essene, I wasn't a Jew. This is a whole, another bigger part of the 
the lie along with the Holocaust. So we find that um, uh, on the 30th of October, Francis announced that all of the world's churches are now grouped into one in the Vatican. Right? Now, the age it was when he said that was 78.86. That number in Hebrew concordance of the King James Bible is, you look that up here like, the Blue Letter Bible, you'll find it there. You can get, if you've got a smartphone, you can download concordances, uh, King James, put in uh, KJV uh, concordance Bible, and a uh, very good program. And you just punch the number in, and it'll tell you what it is and where it comes from. It'll give you the verse. And that's in... Uh, uh, Genesis 49.10 and uh, that means um, Shiloh which is Messiah on another note Roswell there's got a bit of stupid thing I've been to Roswell and I talked to the man there who was one of the gentlemen who was working for the uh, I think it was a 503 air division and uh, he said that he was there and witnessed the little aliens right all dead except for one. It does happen to like strawberry ice cream, by the way. Now, this man is a 33 degree uh, Scottish white mason. His lips were moving, so therefore he's lying. What actually happened was there was two UFOs ran into each other on the 4th of July, 1947. Now, we've got the 4th of July, hello, and then uh, they run into each other. So here's these space aliens are supposed to come. Uh, they don't go to London or New York or uh, any of the places which would be an in interest of it. If there were aliens, I'm not saying for a moment there are aliens out there, there isn't. Uh, we are alone. This is the only occupied area of the entire universe and it's a creation. It was created before anything else was. So let us say what they're trying to push was that two um, alien ships came rocking across Roswell of all places. It's a desert. There's nothing there. Except the latitude of it is the word Messiah. Okay, so you look that up. Do the own research. I won't tell you what the number is. You do it yourself. Get the longitude and latitude of Roswell, and I'll give you the word Messiah. So these two alien ships are coming along. They're looking over their shoulder. We'll make a very good Monty Python movie, and they run into each other at two hundred thousand feet. Now they even knew how high up they were when they hit each other. So two of these morons coming from outer space, just being a couple of billion light years away, they just get here at the same moment. Instead of going to London, New York or Los Angeles, they run into each other over Roswell, a piece of desert in the middle of nowhere. But it just happens to be the number for uh, Messiah. So there's, there's a clue there they were seeking up. So what did Messiah do? From there, they flew to Albuquerque with a little big boy, I think it was called, and they bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. One of the planes was numbered 7354, which is the number is slightly more than the Shroud of Turin area, 7353. All right, so uh, this is what they try to put on you. One on one, Braun said that the last card will be the alien card. So what's he talking about? He's talking about that the last card of the Jews that they're going to play is the alien card. Well, that alien card is not from outer space. They're talking about it, but it's bullshit. The aliens are the Muslims going into Europe, right? And the Jews are behind it. Saros is behind that with the United States. George Soros. George Soros. Soros. Mm. Hmm? A Jew. A Jew. So I think that um, once you start to wake up, you realise that the Holy Ghost is here. Remember Jesus on the cross gives up the Holy Ghost, gives up the ghost, and it's the Holy Ghost. So um, I'm going to put a PowerPoint together and uh, have some points on that. But um, what we have then is uh, the date of uh, 12th month, and 2015, the 20th. That looked a very, very uh, um, important date for the Pope because it spells out the word in his age, which was uh, will be 7901. That is sleep, but it is from a word that means death. Yeah. So all the numbers associated with that, if you take my age to his age and then the Pope Benedict's age to his age, uh, is spelling out death for him and freedom for the rest of... Uh, and Benedict in particular, and he'll be able to uh, talk to you all and say, hey, this man is telling the truth. It is Salvador Mundi, the saviour of the world. So uh, get your delegation together. 
Like, if you have sprouts show up at the Vatican with 50,000 people demanding to see Benedict, you don't have to ask. You just walk in and go see him. Now, the traitor there is uh, George Genswain. Uh, he is the man who is the uh, secretary now of both uh, Francis and of uh, Benedict. And he was, we got an email from him, and um, he uh, has sworn an oath, which you should not swear oaths, literally ABA and an ABNA. So here he is swearing an oath, he's also homosexual, swearing an oath to Francis, never to mention my name to him again, never to talk about me. Hello. Now look at the importance of that. Here's a man that can prove absolutely he's the Holy Ghost that Benedict has already said and uploaded in Salvador Mundi, as he calls me, to Christian Credence. So just search my name, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall and Pope Benedict, and you'll come up with all of the related um, information. So um, we've got how he was um, incarcerated by thugs that burst into the office of the papal office on uh, April the 3rd in um, 2013. Four, his assistant father, Giuseppe, a lovely man, is now dead, murdered by Francis. Um, he uploaded, or tried to upload from Italy, the Christian credent and uh, couldn't do it. But he had spent a lot of time in Canada and had a friend over there, uh, Monsignor Rossini, and uh, he uploaded it for him. So it outsmarted them. They blocked a country or an area, but they didn't block the information and email attachment was sent to Father Rossini, and he uploaded it. Well, he's disappeared also. And then there was a very good friend of the Pope, been with him for 20 years, from his days when he was a bishop, and a uh, cardinal. And um, her name is Sister Maria De La Rosa. Well, we received a letter from her telling us what happened, that it was George Ganswain, who was like a son, and it's been eight years with Benedict uh, Jewish, his, during his pontificate and uh, he betrayed him. He held the door open uh, after knocking on the door she asked who was there and first, the first uh, uh, attempt to get into the, uh, it's called Castel Gandolfo where the papal office was, the summer residence of the Pope. Um, it's 15 kilometres or so from the Vatican. Um, they said, we have a message from Francis. Well, at that moment, um, Pope Benedict had just found out that the uh, announcement of myself being Christ being back was going to be presented with the uh, TV, through uh, RAI TV in Italy, of the showing of the Shroud of Turin. So he had made an announcement that my face and the Shroud of Turin is exactly the same. And so uh, it was stopped. And then he realised that he was a prisoner, and he told me he's like um, Pius IX, which was a prisoner in the 1850 era of the Vatican, of the same area, Castel Gandolfo. So, who was the man that let these thugs in? Because they went, went away, and then a familiar voice knocked on the door, and a, the voice was um, George Ganswain, talking to uh, Sister Maria de la Rosa, and she said to us that she made the biggest mistake of her life. She opened the door. When she did, Ganswain put his foot in the door, held the door open for the thugs to come in in black suits to rush upstairs and they beat the Pope up, bleeding from the air, he fell to the ground. He was trying to be protected by uh, Father Giuseppe. And um, she said that this was what the words of to her was that, uh, Sister, you will now be talking, speaking Maltese. And she was sent to Malta. She eventually befriended the Mother Superior down there and six months later she got away, went to America and then sent an email to us with what actually happened. So we traced the source of the email and it turned out it was being diverted through a, uh, a Jewess in Toronto. So they had her covered. They knew exactly where she was. You buy an airline ticket, right? You got a passport, you buy an airline ticket, they know where you are exactly, right? Go through the system. So they waited to see what she was going to say, and then she's disappeared. She said she thinks that they will kill her, that uh, uh, Francis would kill her. All right, so I'll leave it there. Uh, raise up. Don't take no uh, uh, negative comments from anybody. Just get up and do it. Your uh, future and the children's future is at stake. We've got to kick the Jews out and get rid of them.
for history. They cannot go to heaven. Just a point that we are moving through space at 69,000 kilometers per hour. The sun moves across the Milky Way galaxy on the uh, 11th of uh, December in 2011 at 11, 11 Australia time, Eastern Australian time. That's why a lot of people have seen the 11, 11 number everywhere. Now the date today is the 11th of the 11th. So what happened was the solar system bobs back and forwards and is now in the northern side of the Milky Way galaxy and that is why when you drain water down out of your sink it's going backwards. That's what all the weather problems are all about. All the, if you look at the uh, anyone who has lived in North America and Europe, you'll know that water drained down the sink clockwise. Now do it, it's going counterclockwise. And that's because of the Coriolis effect of the uh, Milky Way galaxy. That's causing that. So um, if you go to Straw Man Burneth or go to uh, lulu.com, there's some awesome books there. You can either buy them, but I don't get paid for it anyhow. I just steal the money. Uh, so, but you can get a book delivered to you, or you can download it for free. It's called the Straw Man Burneth. In it, uh, it's a lure to uh, because when you're born, your birth certificate is sold, and you are declared dead by a judge, and then the baby uh, is then made into a corporation. That's why everything in a tombstone is capital letters. That's why a driver's license is capital letters, or your credit cards, or anything from the government, your name is in capital letters. So you can get that straw man burner is going to tell you all about that. But in it is a great deal of work on the Great Pyramid and what that's all about. So I'll leave it there. Me bless you.